Okay, so today we're going to talk uh, about doing authorization. So what that might uh, deal with is maybe you've got a user that has a professional license. So in this case, we've got the manager, but if we had another user, say Jim or Brad, who had a professional license, but what you're not wanting to allow them to see is maybe the financials. You want them to be able to do everything else. So we go into system initialization and then from there into authorizations and then general authorizations. And what we see here is it expands out to, we've got the individuals on the left side. So in this case, if we go on down to Jim, and uh, as we see here under the financials, uh, we've got full authorization. So let me make this thing a little bit easier to see. We're gonna scoot that over. We're gonna expand the financials. And as you can see, there's, there's quite a few things here the individual could see with financials based on them having this full authorization. but we could either give them the read only or in this case we just don't want them to see that at all so we're going to say no authorization and which in turn it basically everything underneath the financial period has been uh, set to not authorized we're also going to include in this example we're going to go into banking and do the same thing so click on that we're going to say no authorization and then just come on down here and update that that's going to prevent that user from seeing those fields if we check right here you'll, they're not going to see that information so uh, they'll go into there and they'll be getting, they won't have authorization to check into any of these areas. All right, I hope that helps. Thanks.